what is a registered apprenticeship. It's a paid job, number one, that provides on-the-job learning in a very structured environment because you're creating on-the-job training plan. That's the work process schedule. Also, the next part of it is classroom learning or related technical instructions. So your apprentices learn specific tasks on the job, and then they take classes directly related to what they're learning on the job. So they're not going to be taking history and all those gen eds. They're going to be taking specifically trade-related classes, AC, DC, fundamentals, et cetera. And then, of course, the biggest part of it is the mentorship, passing that institutional knowledge down from your long-term experts, your electricians, whatever they are, to this new generation so that you can have that planning in place before you lose them and there's no one to, to pass that knowledge on to. This is the certificate that, that upon completion, the apprentice gets. It's signed by uh, the Office of Apprenticeship, John Ladd, and then the, your signature, the employer signature goes on the other end, as well as the apprentice's name and, and trade. This certificate is a national certificate. It is recognized nationally. So it serves as a credential to allow an apprentice to work anywhere they want to. However, licensures supersede this. If your state requires you to be a licensed Michigan electrician, you have to have that credential before you can work, regardless of this one. So key partners. Obviously, you can't do an apprenticeship without the employer, the apprentices, or the USDOL. RTI providers, those are your local community colleges or your industry-specific training that's available out there. Intermediaries, those are those joint programs, whether they're union or non-union. And then your workforce development agencies, at least in Michigan, is where our funding for apprenticeship sits as well as our talent. So if you're looking for apprentices, they have a pool of candidates and then they also have the funding that's available both federally and nationally.